Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Tuesday, the 8th of October. Uh, we got two more Major League Baseball playoff games set to go. We're going to talk about one of them here in just a minute. But before we do, you know the drill. Take a second of your time and hit that like button, smash the thumb. You know, I appreciate it. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take a minute and do that. Make sure you ring the bell to get your notifications. Winnersandwiners.com is a great place to check out uh, free predictions, plays, and previews, picks, parliamentary procedure, everything over there at winnersandwiners.com. Free write-ups on every game every single day. Uh, so make sure you check that out and use it as a resource. If you want to get some premium plays while you're there, make sure that you do that and apply the code ROLLER10. That will get you 10% off your uh, purchases there at winnersandwiners.com, any and all premium purchases. So definitely take advantage of that. And naturally, if you're looking for a new sports book in your state, maybe sports book, maybe sports betting just came. Maybe you just moved to a state with sports betting. First of all, congratulations. Way to go. Uh, living here in Missouri in the dark ages. TikTok, everybody. Anyway, uh, make sure you check out the partnership deal that we have with our good friends over there at BetMGM, the king of sports books, as they are offering, they are offering up to $1,500 in free bonus bets. When you open that account, this is for new players only, of course. Void rule prohibited. Terms and conditions apply. Must be 21 or older. And, of course, if you have problems with sports betting, make sure that you get the help you need by dialing 1-800-GAMBLER. So, um, as we record this, it is early evening on Monday. Still do not have a uh, first pitch in the Royals game or a kickoff in the Chiefs game. So, we'll see how that parlay does here down the road. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at the National League, uh, uh, the uh, division series, the NLDS, if you will, between the Dodgers and the Padres there in game uh, numero dos. Um, this is going to be, is that way? I got to check something here real quick. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, okay. All right. It is, uh, yep, yep, yep. All right. So this is going to be the Dodgers at the Padres for this one. Uh, it's going to be Walker Bueller going up against Michael King uh, for the Friars. Guys, uh, we're going to play a little uh, two-leg parlay here. The Padres behind Michael King, minus 152. Now, you know I don't like to give out plays like that for a free video pick. You know, anybody can say, hey, take this massive favorite. It should do well. So we like to uh, we like to pair it up with something and get put that in positive territory. And today, we're going to, uh, we're going to pair up. The Padres money line with Michael King, five or more strikeouts. And that's going to pay us a plus 110 bonus there. A little bonus bucks on your even money. Um, this just comes down to in King we trust for me. He has been outstanding since his last start in June. 203 ERA, 107 whip in those 14 starts. Um, if he does have a fault, he's a, he's a young guy. He's just 24. Still walks too many batters, but... Does a great job, much like Cole Reagan's. He doesn't let those walks turn into runs. Um, the Dodgers, you know what? They're second in the majors in walks, and that makes me lean away from the run line here. That's one of the big reasons I am not backing the run line at plus money. If you wanted to do that, you're feeling a little froggy. I think we definitely have the pitching, pitching advantage here. I don't hate that play, um, but I like I like this one instead. Instead of going with the strikeouts, um, as far as that strikeout prof goes. Uh, he has been like money in the bank. He struck out five or better in 16 of his last 19 starts. So the strikeout math is definitely on our side. And this is also going to be a fade of Walker Bueller for me. Um, Bueller got a late start in the season, had some injury problems, and it just has been sort of a lost year for the, the former uh, ace of that Dodger staff with 538 ERA, 155 whip on the season. Um, and he's been even worse on the road, posting 653-171 numbers on the highway. Um, yeah, he's been better lately. You look at his last few starts. In fact, he had a great start against San Diego last time. I still don't trust him. I really don't. And I'm not sure that I trust this Dodgers pen right now. Uh, Bueller tends to not go very long. He's pitched into the sixth just twice in his last dozen starts. And the Dodgers pen, pretty good during the regular season. But they got absolutely lit up like the 4th of July last time out in game one of this series. They gave up six earned runs, eight hits in just four and two-thirds innings. I think we've got the advantage 
no matter who's on the mound, whether it's a starter or a reliever. And we're going to ride that to victory today. So give me the San Diego Padres money line, Michael King, five or better strikeouts at plus 110. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, as always, thanks very much for watching. Good luck on all of your plays today. Don't forget to drop a comment. Let me know what you think of our parlay here. Let me know what you're on today. And uh, let me know if you catch that, uh, that Homer parlay that we played on Monday night. All right. You guys have a great day. Have a great week. And we'll be back next time to talk all about it. Take care. We'll see you then.